with conventional tillage methods. The aim of soil cultivation and seedbed preparation is to prepare a weed-free, firm and level surface where seed and soil contact will be optimal for good germination and emergence of soybeans. Implements used in conventional tillage include discs and tine implements fitted with rollers at the back to prepare a level seed bed. They are also used to incorporate stubble and volunteer plants of the previous crop into the soil. Some herbicides need to be incorporated into the soil, which can also be done with these secondary cultivation methods. Soils with problems of compaction may be rectified with the use of a chisel plow. Some farmers still prefer to plow their fields. It is important that this is done when the moisture content of the soil is right. Plowing in winter, when the soil is dry and big clots are forming, can be very destructive to the structure of the soil and must be discouraged. This practice is also not fuel efficient and places a lot of strain on tractors and machinery. Farmers who are still using conventional tillage usually disk in winter to incorporate any seeds left from the previous crop and to bury some of the stubble into the soil. After emergence of the volunteer crop, a tine implement is used to kill these plants and to prepare a level and firm seed bed for the planting process. This photo illustrates how many volunteer maize plants can emerge after the first rains. It is necessary to kill these plants together with any other emerging weeds before planting can proceed. This is an example of no-till farming where maize was planted into soybean stubble. Here is another example of no-till farming where soybeans were planted in the stubble of maize. Note that many of the harvested stems of the maize are still standing upright and were not even disturbed by the planting process. This photo is an example of no-till farming where soybeans were planted directly into the stubble of wheat. Here, soybean seedlings are emerging between wheat stubble. Advantages are many for no-till systems, but especially at the time of emergence of the crop, when the soil is protected against heavy downpours of rain, as well as high winds and competition with weeds. This is an example of a no-till planter. Note that the planted rows are difficult to recognize due to the fact that coulters were used to open the soil for seed placement. Soybeans were planted here with an Apache no-till planter. The rows are not even visible due to the large amount of maize stubble remaining on the surface of the soil. 